Hello everyone, this is Shadow the Rat, and in today's video I thought I would talk about eight products that I bought for my rats that, well, I regret buying because they frankly suck. So the first thing we're going to start out with is the one that I'm pretty sure everyone would agree with me on why it's a terrible product, and that is the Snack Shack Log right here. And the reason this is a terrible product for rats is because, well, it's made basically of alfalfa and it's also flavored with honey. And for those of you who don't know, rats can't digest alfalfa. They're like us in that regard. They're not like other small rodents who can digest it. So this means that if they consume a great quantity of it in a short period of time, it can actually cause them to get a blockage in their intestines and this can be fatal and kill them. So the main reason here that we have such an issue is just because this is flavored with honey. Rats are smart enough not to usually eat the alfalfa if they're chewing it, they'd spit it out. But since this is flavored with honey, you'll find that some rats and especially baby rats might eat enough of this to actually hurt themselves or even kill themselves. So not a good product. The second thing we're going to go over is my little thing here. And this is just one of those little bendable log bridge things. And initially I got this because I had the idea of putting this across my entire single critter nation. And uh, yeah, this, this doesn't cut it. It's way too small. And not only that, but look at this. It's only like two inches across. This is probably my fault. I probably didn't read the dimensions on Amazon when I bought this, but it's just so small. I mean, I like the fact that it bends and I have actually used it in the cage like this and seen Cookie sitting on it but it's still just so small. I can't actually connect anything with it and it's just not worth it. Like I thought it was going to be this sized when I got it, but it's not. So it's not the best product for rats. Maybe better for, I don't know, dwarf hamsters. It's just so tiny. So the next thing I have issue with is this rope climbing net thing. So I really love rope climbing nets for rats. They love them. They are great. You can use them for so many different things. This thing here is a shoddy ripoff. So when I got my rope climbing thing, it was like $11.95 or something. So since it was close to $12 and I only had $100 to spend on Amazon, and I say only, but I was spending, I think it was birthday money or something on the rats. Anyways, so since I had that budget on what I was looking for for the rats, I was trying to get in as much as possible and this thing here was like $4. So I thought, you know what, why not? I'm just gonna try it. I'll also get one of the ones that has a good review. This one had no reviews. So I got one of the good ones and I got this thing. And this thing is just pure crud. It's terrible. Not only does it smell bad and is dirty, and is frayed and I haven't touched this thing since I got it. So this is nothing that I've done or the rats have done. I will not give them this thing. This is just, <laughs> it's terrible quality and I do not think that it's fit for any sort of animal. This is, this is the one that is actually in working order. This is what I thought it would look like, but it is not. It's much more terrible quality than this thing. This is what you want. You do not want this thing. Stay away from this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is this Critter Keeper. So initially I got this for my rats when I got uh, Shadow and Sonic. So they were my first rats. And I got this to carry them around, but there's one problem. And that's that this thing is basically the size of my rat cream. So you can fit one adult rat in here and it's, <laughs> there's not any space. It's not nearly large enough for rats. And at the time I didn't really know how big rats got, but clearly this would not work for an adult rat. I mean, it barely works for my little two month old rat. So how's it supposed to work for a rat who's actually full size? So yeah, these, not the best. They're okay for maybe introductions. And that's about it. This, this is the large carrier. And I really like this one. This is actually what I use to take them to the vet and stuff like that. This is a better size than this thing. Just look how they compare. Yeah, there you go. Small one is way too small. So the next thing we have here is this nylon hammock. So I just hate the material this is made out of. It's so plasticky and the rats, I put it in the cage, they won't touch it. Like they won't even chew on it. It's just, it's a piece of junk kind of, uh, I don't want to be rude, but it is. And you can see here, plastic clips just doesn't work out. I'm sure some people like these. I saw some positive reviews when I got it, but not me. 
I just do not like the quality material. I guess the only good thing I can say about it is it's very easy to clean, and if my rats would actually walk onto it and pee on it, then I'm sure I would find that out. But since they avoid it, it's not worth it. So the next thing I have here is this Goodbye Odor product. Now this is supposed to make your rat's urine smell less. Does it do that? No, at least not in my experience. Some people will tell you it's a good product. Personally, I used it, I used a lot more than you were supposed to even, didn't do a thing. Now the one good thing I'll say about this is that my rats did not avoid the water I put it in. I could put however much I wanted in there, they did not notice it, they just kept on drinking. Not sure if that's the same with everyone's rats, but every rat I've tried, it's the same thing. But yeah, this thing does not work. However, I've also tried vanilla and that never worked for me, so it might work for some people, but in my experience, this is just a waste of money. So the next thing I have here is a Katie water bottle. Now some people love these. They love the fact that it's glass and it's basically chew proof and some people say leak proof, but unfortunately my experience with this is that they don't let out water. So yeah, I've gotten three or four of these. Every single one of them has come to me looking perfectly fine. If I hit the ball spout right here, it seems like it lets out water. I put water in it, it seems like it lets out water. The rats lick it and it doesn't let out water. So I have no idea what's wrong with these things. The three small ones I have and the one big one I have, none of them let out water when the rats lick them. So I'm kind of suspicious of this water bottle and I won't use it. But yeah, I know some people have good luck with it. I've just had really shoddy luck, so don't like these. And last but not least, let's move on to the tiny wheels. So I didn't actually buy this super tiny wheel for my rats. This is five inches in diameter. And even when I was first getting rats and wasn't aware how big they got, I didn't think they could fit on something like this. I'm not even sure if any animal can fit on something like this, but I thought I would show you guys how small the five inch one looks. Anyways, this is the eight inch wheel. And well, this was the one that I got for my rats when I first got rats. And even at three to four months old, they were way too big for this thing. This thing, maybe my two month olds could go on it. I doubt it for very long. It's just too small. An adult rat needs a wheel that is at least 12 inches in diameter. So this is 12 inches, this is eight inches, this is five inches, and you can see the big difference. They need a huge wheel, not a tiny little dinky thing like this. And I regret buying this because, well, I've never used it. Like you can see that I've never used it, it has no wear and tear because it was in the cage once before I realized they couldn't even get on it and I had to buy a bigger size. So yeah, definitely regret buying this wheel. So these are all the items that I regret buying. Don't ask me why I still have them because honestly, I have no idea. Some of them are kind of useful and I know some people have had good experiences with some of these. I'm not saying that all of these products are just terrible in general. I'm just saying that my experience with them was not so good. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like, you can check out my rat website at www.rattricks.weebly.com, link in the description. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you next time. Bye! Show me. <laughs>